I wanted to be an NBA player. Obviously, that didn't work. You know, I had some kids on the way that, you know, that God blessed me My with. My name is Desmarie Diamond Soto. My name is Josias LeBron Soto. You know, when I went to school, I graduated from SLD. A lot of people don't know what SLD is, but it's a slow learning disability class. Graduated, my diploma really ain't worth much. It's just a sheet of paper, but it just goes to show that I put my mind to it. I wanted to be an NBA player. Obviously, that didn't work. You know, I had some kids on the way that, you know, that God blessed me with. And you know what, I went to the second second gear that I had, you know, second mission that I had that I wanted was to be a barbershop owner and just be able to take care of the people out here in this world. So I, I pushed, I strived, barely could read, write, but guess what? There ain't no stopping me. I put my mind to it the same way I tell my kids and lead by example. And hopefully, you know, these young kids can see it and, and just follow, follow the footsteps. And now for the 11 and under Spartan. Number one, Josiah Soto. Number four, Felix Sanchez. Number 13, Isaac Perez. Number 21, Trayvon Mason. Number 23, Omar Rivera. Number 25, Carlos Castillo. Number 34, Excel, the Jesus. Number 42, Anthony Muriel. Number 43, Chase Robb. Number 44, Seven, Morehead. Number 53, Desmaria Soto. And Coach Neil and Coach Christian. Thank <laughs> you. 
Somebody got to get on 44. Don't let them catch the ball. That's too easy. Chance for the three 
I grow up, I want to be a WNBA player. I want to shoot like Stephen Curry and be like Stephen Curry, like I'll have all his handles. The most challenging part is that you have to, you have to like get everybody involved in it and like believe in everybody. So I think that's the toughest part. If they like. If they if I pass if I pass them the ball and they do something good like shoot over somebody and stuff then they can believe in themselves more to actually like know how to shoot and dribble and all that. It's important because if if like you don't know the plays or anything and the coach wants to call out and play and you don't know it then you're not helping your team out. Practicing hard and practicing hard. My dad, he helps me a lot, practicing and practicing, and he pushes me and all. Big 
Like, it's on the American flag. I think it shows a lot of passion to me. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite subject is math. My favorite athlete is Stephen Curry. Because when Stephen Curry goes out there, he does new moves every time he goes out there. So it inspires me to try to do what he tries to do. I think practice is important because 
If we didn't have practice in our life, we wouldn't know what a travel is. We wouldn't know what a. We wouldn't know how to dribble. We wouldn't know how to do certain things that if we had practice, we could know how to do. Get in front of him, man! Uh, seven, get in front of him, seven! 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 Get in front of
There you go. will prepare these kids for the real world would be if basketball is not going to be something that later on down the road you don't want to do anymore it's okay find something else that you like and put the same amount of work that you put in basketball to get the success that you got out of it right now put that into what you want to be later on down the road and you're going to get the same success as you did with what the game of basketball they love right now Traveling by nation, no shot. 
Carlos Castillo. Coming in the Spartans. Hey, you missed the two out there. Oh no, you're not, you good. You good. No, you good, you good, take him out. Also checking in is Chase Rock. Jump over the line, Bobby. You can't jump over the line. Thank <laughs> you. 
had to learn that they kids and eventually they're going to get to the level that I want and I know they could be in and the hardest part really is just just knowing that you know what within time they're going to get there you know and just and just pump them up and just let them know if they had a bad game it's okay guess what the best part about this is you go back out there tomorrow and you get to make up for it you know, that game's in the past, and from here on out, let's make a difference. And
I'd like to say thank you to all the people that came out, my family members, my friends, and all the other kids that I know that came out to support me. <laughs> 